Okay. I am, uh, let me see, three minutes, but internet, you know, it's, it's so terrible. Even with high speeds, it's a slow speed. So, welcome to another Wednesday. Do you know that I'm waiting a week for every Wednesday? I'm so happy to be with you. I'm happy because I always teach you something new. So, today we'll go above, I hope, something you don't know yet okay so we're going to work with cutting needles cutting needles are um my, i'm sorry i'm Celine Ross from montreal okay a genome educator genomic canada okay so i i'm so anxious i'm so happy to jump into my subject that i even forget what i have to uh, i have to to present myself okay okay cutting needles is um are Sh uh, uh, shorter needles than a sewing needle and yes it cuts fabric for embroidery machine that doesn't go on a sewing machine it goes on a embroidery machine any genome model of sewing machine you can use cutting needle but you need a software maybe you can buy some designs that need cut work okay but uh, uh, if you want to do your own designs, your, your own cut, you need a software. Of course, I'm talking about artistic digitizer. I'll, uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, I almost say something in French. So, um, cutting needles, I prepare something. You know, 30 minutes goes as fast as 3 minutes when you're live. So, my, I had to choose a simple project. And you know what? We learn from something simple. I have so many little things to tell you. So what am I, am I going to show you today is to do this. Uh, don't ask me the name, I don't, I don't know what it is. In French, it's a fainéon. In English, I have no clue, okay? So J-A-N-O-M-E. But what did I do? J-A-N-O-M-E. So six letter. So I cut with my machine and the cutting needles six layers of fabric because i didn't want to cut one by one you know the, the machine allow me the machine and the software allow me to to cut so uh, put some underneath the cutting needles okay uh, you don't see well now because the screen and we're all prepared for you 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 see at least those on top huh but there's another one below so I said, if I want to teach them many things with something almost ready, they learn fast because uh, it has to go fast. So I took a design already built in in the 550E, 550E, okay? So it's those, uh, this sign, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know how it's called, okay? Fagnon in French, maybe it's gonna help you, maybe not. Probably not, okay? So, what did I do? I used felt, just to practice. Felt, which is the white, and as the applique on the other side, I used the nice 100th anniversary fabric from Janome. You know why? Huh? You can ask your dealer to, um, to buy some of this uh, nice uh, anniversary fabric, okay? So that's what I used, okay? So, what do I have to do? I have to digitize the cut. The design is already built in in your sewing machine. But when we have a software, we don't want the design like this. You know, we bought a nice machine. I want the design as much as I, as I can fill up my, uh, my hoop. So, I have 550E, but the people who has, the lady who has, lady or man, who has uh, 500, 450, 400, you can do the same thing. The hoop maybe is different. And don't forget, I'm in Genome Canada, so sometimes some other country, the hoops or the packaging is not the same. Huh? So I took a built-in design from those machines and I enlarge it. I enlarge it in a, a and um, because I want to show you another, another option with the hoop, okay? It'll be easier to say. 
So you don't see well now because I'll, I'll switch uh, camera, but you see I have to prepare. I always use my nice luminous lamp to, for you to see well. I see my screen so it's really bright and you see well. And now I will change camera. Okay, so I print my template and you see I enlarge it. You're going to say, ah, what, what is that hoop? I have the 550, I don't have that hoop. This is hoop RE28B from the 500. So the, the 550E doesn't come anyway in Canada, doesn't come with the 28B, doesn't come with it, okay? But you can buy it um, uh, as an optional. So you know, sometimes 20 is enough, the, the, the 20B is enough sometimes, RE36B is too much and you need in between, so this is optional. But if you own the 550E, 450 and uh, 450 and 400, well, you have that hoop, I hope, okay? So, and like I said, did you see those things here? And bigger, you see, original, and I enlarge and digitize to be cut. I just digitize the outline because, uh, like I said, it's... 30 minutes, huh? and 30 minutes, half is almost gone. Okay, so these are my cutting needles. It comes in a pack of four, and the, the color are like, uh, you know, the four color process in the uh, printing business? And this is the word on the uh, blister pack. Cut work needle set, cut work needle. So I'll show you a difference between a sewing needle sewing needle and a cut work needle so you'll see hey look at the difference in the length uh, length yes I, I see right yeah so the difference is shorter of course you want to cut and the tip there's four different tip to cut sorry I hit the uh, so four different angle to cut but you don't have to uh, you have to understand what, how it works but the software you know tells you which machine which uh, needle uh, cutting needle to use okay so look what i prepared this is just to show you so here i use like i say who 28b into my hoop the only thing i I insert my tearaway stabilizer. Genome Canada use, Mad, uh, use Madeira. So I use Madeira tearaway, tearaway, okay? At the back, I want to do an applique because I consider the back of those triangle as an applique. I already cut my felt. Now I want to show you how to cut the cotton so I'm go I, and it's an applique so what do I do what did I do so I iron hold on I iron this um, some will call it wonder under some will call it steam seam 2 this is what I use steam seam 2 Oh, I'm too close, too close, too far, too, too, too not enough. Steam a seam too. This is what I use. One of my dealers, Louisette, told me this is the right one you should use. So, this is at the back. So, Janome is six letter plus my steam a seam. So, am I 12? 13? 14. So what I did, I put them, aligned them very good on the top of my tearaway. And because I print my template, just to make sure that my fabric, you know, I don't want to attach the fabric into the hoop. I just want to lay it there. So I want to make sure I have enough fabric. So I'm checking, everything is good, okay. Then tear away on top. I thread my machine already with 
with the uh, white uh, color because I have to base everything together. Okay, hold on. I'm moving the camera. I want you to see the um, the screen. Okay. So my design is on my USB key. So what I need to do here, I need to prepare my machine. I'm going to set. First thing I'm doing, I, I will cut. So I want to tell my machine that uh, I don't want that my machine tells me, whoops, what has, we did something else before. I want to tell my machine, don't bug me with the uh, lower thread. Huh? And also, I don't want to hear that the top thread, I don't want to hear that there's no thread. Of course, I'll have no thread when I'll, I'll be cutting. So, no, off, I don't want to hear the B. And also, I want to set my speed at the fastest. Let's go. Okay? So, what am I doing? See my colors? This refers to the color of the needles. Okay? Black, blue, red, and green, the next page. I keep them in order here. First thing I want to do, I have many layers now. I want to attach them together, baste them. So, I want to baste, uh, baste this is here, the patouche. Oh, it's in French. Well, it's a French lesson also. Okay, two for the price of one. And this is not what I want to do, it's this one here. Okay, so I will attach move this I will attach my hoop very carefully make sure the two prongs are attached I lay my tear away on top and now I will baste okay so I'm just following I'm holding because it's sliding huh I'm holding the whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop my needle here. Whoa, 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 my thread. When it's not one thing, it's the other one. We want, we want to do life so perfect, but it's like almost not possible. Sorry for my arm. Okay, go. Keep going. So my machine is basting. For sure you know about this, but this is very important because it will hold my again ay, 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 ay. and believe me we practiced before imagine if we didn't practice A thread cutting okay do it right Celian so you remember what to do when you're use uh, when you're using um, when you're using spool of uh, a bobbin thread between two spools okay 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 thread 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 and always thread your machine your foot up now I need the scissors and I have a thread I have a needle threader but it needs an adjustment. Every time I'm telling you it needs an adjustment, I'm just saying it. <laughs> I don't do it. Not good, huh? When you want to go fast, it's not going fast. Okay, keep going. This is the only sewing I have to do, the basting stitch. So you see, everything stays into place. Oh! Like I always say, I need four hands, two pair of eyes. Okay. It's cut, it's finished. So I don't need thread anymore. I don't leave it there because... Danger. Okay. Now I need to cut. 
So this one is an applique because while it's cutting, I'll tell you something else with the felt. Applique, so I have my uh, steam a seam, okay? Then I need to lock my machine. Now I'm going to play with lock my machine and I'm going to play with not to play to change my needle so I lock my machine I don't want to damage I don't want to hurt myself you're, you're very patient thank you for for this okay oh yeah yeah okay then the machine asked me black needle so I'm using the black one so mine are for a sewing machine it's a flat back flat back needle so the flat part at the back but if you have MB7 or MB4 it's a round okay unlock the machine and now go it's going to make noise okay it's gonna go watch out here we go so the machine is cutting my fabric i'm afraid to talk with that noise but the machine knows where to go. I digitize it. I digitize it. So I know the machine knows where to go. And I just have to follow my colors. Black, blue, green, uh, red, and the next one is green. So the color refers to the color of the needle. It's only uh, three minutes, so... Uh, but at least you'll see the result. I let it go because the machine knows where to go. It's like embroidering, it's just cutting. I mentioned huh? every Janome embroidery machine can use those cutting needles, but you need the software. Nice clean cut. I'll show you the felt after. I'm at full speed. I'm, I'm not afraid of the jump stitch. Huh? It's cutting. So this is so perfect. If it goes slow, there's no reason. Fast is okay because it's cutting. Okay. Now the machine tells me to change needle. A lock. Oh. Uh, lift the foot it says lock my machine I use the key lock to avoid any accident it's the fabric you want to cut and not your fingers or your nails or uh, whatever you put there <laughs> okay flat back the flat at the back flat part at the back always use um, a screwdriver because the vibration can use loosen the screw lower the foot go oh maybe unlock the machine so you see how secure it is and huh? it didn't let me go because I my machine I put the, the that uh, that key you know that lock stitch I don't control the speed because I put it at 860 so who for this uh, purpose I did it in purpose because a lot of people don't know they can use that uh, 28 uh, uh, size hoop for this uh, 550e of course it's optional but you know it's, it's good to have all the tools then you have them okay next color okay lock the machine tells me put the red needle I'm 
I read and I answer all your comments. Huh? And I always uh, don't want to keep my life apologizing, ap apologizing, it's the right word, but I hit the camera, I'm looking for my words sometimes, but uh, that's, that's, the, that's live. Huh? Okay, unlock the machine, start one stitch because it was pre-programmed like this. Okay, the machine knows where to go, start. Now the machine with that, with the angle of that red machine, the machine knows where to go and cut. And I don't think you're here. Look, my needle. So those lines in between is um, if you had the jump stitch. I hope I'm saying this okay. And French is uh, another word, you know. Just you know that would be the cutting thread. Whoops careful and now the machine tells me gray lock okay whoops I made a mistake lock okay then green and because I use steam as CMC it's blue so you wash your um, you know take a, a little piece of cloth and wash it with alcohol to clean it good to remove all the sticky uh, sticky glue okay okay unlock okay the machine knows where to go lower the press of foot go now it's going to finish one minute oh Oh, I must have hit something. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. Maybe I hit something. Maybe I have a line that shouldn't be there. I'm sorry? Why will we use this technique? You use this technique when you have many layers instead of cutting them one by one. And fin I'm finished, I'm sorry. So if you need many layers, so you see? Hold on, my scissors. Because I have a little lint stayed there. I'm pulling this apart out of the camera because, uh, like I said, I have two hands. Huh? And if you have just a little bit of uh, stitches, you see? Look at the thickness I cut. Look in one shot. And look how not bad clean it is huh? for an applique. So, let me... So I would use this technique to cut a lot of fabric together. So, see, I'm going to be... Look at this. Okay, look at the thickness. But look at that thickness. So this is felt. So this is the, the top part of my work when I wrote Janome you know uh, here you see the white part so I have six layers look at this but six layers plus the stabilizer so what did I use as a stabilizer of course this part is applique not that part this part is, I need to stiff it in, in a way. I have no choice. So the stiffer is uh, uh, on the wrong side of the fabric, but it felt, you know, you don't have right side and wrong side. Huh? So you know what I use? It's not an applique, so I didn't use steam a seam here, but not there. I used freezer paper. If you stabilize the fabric 
you'll end up with a real nice cutting line real clean cutting line so then I put them together wrong side to wrong side I iron I ir this the one below is just as is in the uh, built-in the design built-in in your machine but the top one I put wrong side together and here's an applique clean cut no scissors nothing so two cutting I don't have to redigitize it's the same uh, measurement now another thing I wanted to add to this I told you about the RE28 eh? the, the, the hoop hold on okay this hoop here okay I'm sorry you know I should do this <laughs> that would be so much better okay this is what I use so this one comes with the 500 but it's optional with 550e because 550e has a bigger one re hoop 36b but my gentleman word here now I have my uh, freezer paper underneath my white my white uh, felt how many minutes I'm okay uh, so I have my felt you see behind my felt I have my freezer paper Whoop. Be behind my felt I have my freezer paper which could stay there for as a stabilizer so because J is small even if I took the bigger one I use the free arm, uh, not free arm, the small little hoop. This is the one I use for my lettering. Okay. Hold on. This is what I used. Okay. So how did I do this? Come back on the screen. Oh, the light is hmm, like this. Okay. So, uh, okay, I, I don't want this anymore. It's done. So, I'm going to get a letter and I choose the Gothic. Okay, Janome, J. I'll do just one letter. Okay. And I want to use the smaller hoop, the very small. I don't need to use a big one for no reason. It's right here. Okay. So I, oh, I don't think I have the, 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 the bigger one. Hold on. Uh, medium, eh, no. Genome. Okay. J. And I'm ready to go. So I, I like to use the small when I have just one. Just one, or a small design. So that's how I did. I did J, A, one by one. But my stabilizer was already there. Uh, with my uh, with my cutting fabric so I removed the basting stitch and I kept one layer with his uh, with his uh, uh, freezer paper and I let the embroidery go and then I removed the paper and uh, I uh, I put my wrong side of the wrong sides together with my nice anniversary fabric and that was it. I just one seam to hold it, just to sh just to show you how Janome, hey Janome in red. Oh, okay. So I'm back to see you. Do you see me? You don't see me. You will see me soon. You see me now. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. You have no clue how much we have to prepare in advance. Everything is ready. We practice. Everything is okay. Live, something goes wrong. That's life. That's life. I appreciate all your comment. I answer you one by one. And I'm tempted to say that I really, I put pressure on you now. I receive, I have over 9,000 viewers. And I receive only one picture from a lady who did her test. Please give me at least that reward. Send me a picture of your test, please. 
uh, I'm not begging you, but that's the way you learn. Do something and you show you it's, it's such a big uh, event for us, for me anyway, to show you this live. So please practice, not please, but practice. So until next week, because my manager told me I'm every Wednesday in September. So until next Wednesday, have a good week. Good practice, good embroidery, good cutting. Bye-bye, everybody.